Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 25th of 2021, well, it is titled Solar System Ball Drop. So what do we see here? Well, this is going to be a video that will run about a minute and a half. And what it is is showing how long it will take a ball to drop a distance of one kilometer um, on the if various different solar system objects. So you'll see ranging from the sun on the left out to Pluto on the right hand side. And you can see down below it will tell you the acceleration due to gravity for each of these objects. And it will when we run the video in just a moment, it will show how long it takes that so you'll see the balls standing up at the top there. And as they are let go, it will let them fall and calculate how long it would take them to fall one kilometer. So we will note that it will be very different because the amount of gravity is very different on each of these objects. Some of them like the sun have a very intense gravity many times stronger than Earth's and others like Pluto or Ceres will have a very low gravity. So let's go ahead and play the video and watch what happens here. And you'll notice up at the top, you'll see the times and note that the ball for the sun very quickly strikes the bottom and reaches its kilometer in just two and a half seconds. Jupiter is next at about nine seconds. And then you'll see a bunch of the other objects hit there in the uh, 13 to 15 second range. And now we're down to the slower objects, Mercury and Mars reaching at about 23 seconds. And now we're looking at just our moon, Pluto and Ceres. And of those, our moon is actually going to be the next one where the ball would hit at 35 seconds. And now we have a while to wait for the last two, which have a very low acceleration due to gravity. And that is because of their lack of mass their relatively low mass and their high, uh, larger, larger size by comparison. So here we see Pluto now reaching there at just under a minute and Ceres with about half the acceleration of gravity is still working on it still slowly working its way down to the surface. So if you could drop an object simultaneously on each of these, it will show you how long there. And what we see at the top in, is the time that it took in the green bar up there and the velocity that it would have as it reached that one kilometer. So you notice that that's very different from over 2000 kilometers per hour for something at the sun. Uh, compared to if we look at Ceres, it's only reaching a much lower level of about 90 kilometers per hour. So much, much uh, slower when it hits the surface. And we notice this, that things will fall at different rates on different objects. Uh, so if we note that some of the videos you can find, for example, of objects being dropped on the moon, there is a video from the Apollo 15 mission showing the drop of a hammer and a feather. And not only do you note that they fall at the same rate, but you'll also note that they fall much slower than you would expect here on Earth. So here we get a chance to see how long it would take a ball to fall a distance of one kilometer on a number of different solar system objects. So that was our picture of the day for August the 25th of 2021. It was titled Solar System Ball Drop. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.